Vance Van Wilder, a confident and sarcastic seventh-year senior at Coolidge College, spends his days cruising around campus in his customized golf cart, always parking on a professor's spot, participating in nude figure drawing classes, and organizing lively events for his peers. In the beginning of the movie, we see a college student at the rooftop of the campus building trying to commit suicide. Suddenly, we see Van is also there, but naked. But you see Van is the type of guy who motivates everyone. He wanted to help this college student calm down, but instead, motivated him to commit suicide and follow through his act. Although the boy survived, and everyone cheered for Van. Van is looking for an assistant, and a long queue of people is gathered for interview. During the interview, Van meets different type of characters, but none of them deemed fit for this post. Disappointed, he goes back to his dorm room. That's when he met this Indian origin boy named Taj Mahal. At first, Van wasn't sure about him, but after conducting the interview, Van saw potential in him and hired him for this job. In the next scene, we see Van's father talking to his accountant, and that's when he informs him that Van is still in college, and he has to pay for his tuition, which upsets him because it's been seven years and Van has not graduated. His dad decides to pay a visit and gets horrified when he found Van in a closet wearing girly clothes, but is ultimately relieved that his son is not gay, but was fooling around with a girl in the closet. His dad told him to pack his things up, as they are leaving to which Van refuses, and says that he will stay with his friends. His dad told him that Van is a poor investment, and his friends should be able to pay his tuition, and then leaves. Meanwhile, Van has developed a legendary image of himself in the college, so the college news team wants to do an article on him and chose Gwen to do it. At the same time, Van seeks a payment extension from the registrar, Dolores Haver. Firstly, he starts flirting with her. When the registrar asks if he is trying to seduce her, he replies, Who, me? No. After having sex with her, Dolores hands him the paperwork for an extension, which Van realizes he only needed to ask for it and did not have to go through that disgusting whatever he did with her. He is traumatized and having dark flashbacks of what he did while riding back to his dorm with his friend and assistant. His assistant, Taj, asked if he should mail the paperwork, to which Van replies, Mail it in! Mail it in! Mail it in! To collect money for his tuition fee, Van started pimping and created topless tutors. For each right answer, the girls will show their chest to the boys. Gwen reached up to Van and asked for the interview, to which Van invited her to the Naked Mile. She went there but only got disturbed at what she saw, and Van refused to interview if she is not running in the Naked Mile. When the real pimp of the area got to know about Van's topless tutors, he paid Van a visit, and it was over. Taj is worrying about Van's shortage on funds when a geek unibrow came to meet Van and asked him to throw a party for them, as they are nerds and only good with grades. He offers money in return of Van's party throwing services. At the party, the nerds were playing games on Pac-Man. That's when Van introduced them to some beautiful chicks. Gwen also came to the party for interview, but Van again refused. She overheard from the nerds what he did for them, and she took notes. Gwen's ugly boyfriend also came in his costume to join the party, but was refused from entering and later discovered that Gwen was also inside. Gwen wrote the article on Van Wilder party liaison. When he got to know about this article, he was upset. According to Van, he did not throw party for money, but only because those nerds equally deserved the college life like normal boys, and that part was nowhere to be mentioned in the article. With this article, Van started getting more opportunities to throw parties for students. They were discussing on their finance when Van's friend brought what he assumed to be a bong from Taj's room, but later revealed by Taj that it is his cock pump. Gwen was by his side as he agreed for the interview. When Gwen's boyfriend got to know that she is spending more time with Van, he invited Van to Gwen's parents to brag about his medical field and his contributions in college. Van played a prank on Richard as well. He filled the hot dogs with dog geese and got it delivered to their fraternity. He hid the pictures he took during the process at the very bottom. They complimented the hot dogs as creamy and still warm as they ate it, and later saw the pictures and started vomiting. Gwen learns that Van stopped attending classes years ago, 18 units short of graduation. Upset by the intrusion into his private life, Van distances himself from Gwen, taking a reflective look at his own existence. Richard orchestrates a plan to undermine Van's latest party with Jeannie, a member of a sister sorority, by sneaking in children, getting them intoxicated, and subsequently alerting campus police. Van is apprehended for providing alcohol to minors and faces potential expulsion from Coolidge. Initially contemplating leaving the college, Van decides to contest the charges after being inspired by his friend Taj. Van appeals to the court, requesting not expulsion but rather a mandate to graduate. He proposes completing his remaining units before the semester concludes, earning a degree in leisure studies. The academic board narrowly 
only votes 3 to 2 in favor of Van's reinstatement, with the unexpected pivotal vote cast by Professor McDougall. Van dedicates himself to studying for the finals, scheduled in just six days. Outside the courtroom, Jeannie exposes Richard's scheme to Gwen, along with his unfaithfulness. Enraged by this revelation, Gwen feigns forgiveness towards Richard, but spikes his protein shake with a potent laxative just before his entrance exam for Northwestern Medical School. During the exam, Richard's uncontrollable flatulence leads to a chaotic situation as he rushes to the bathroom, unknowingly embarrassing himself in front of future alumni interviewing him. Van utilizes the entire exam period for his final with his least favorite professor, Professor McDougall. Later, McDougall informs Van that he has passed, explaining that his demanding approach over the years was rooted in a belief that Van wasn't fulfilling his potential, unrelated to Van's past involvement with McDougall's daughter during freshman year. Gwen completes her article for the graduation issue, exposing Richard's plot to have Van expelled, showcasing Van's significant contributions to Coolidge over the last seven years, and highlighting his extraordinary feat of completing a semester's worth of studying in just six days. Both Richard's reputation and aspirations for medical school are irre irreversibly damaged. The university celebrates Van's graduation with a lively party in his honor. His father, having read Gwen's article, admits to his misjudgment and expresses pride in Van's achievements. Gwen arrives, warmly reuniting with Van. Do leave your opinion about the movie in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed this explanation. Goodbye and take care.